Um, it's exciting. Um, for those that don't know, uh, Dennis Downs and Kelly Downs, um, the owners of Stonecrest. Um, I'm sure you've seen our plans and kind of everything that we're doing. Um, today we have the, the city out with us, um, as well as our banking partners with D11s. Um, then obviously our group for service group and Green Mountain Resources and planning um, for the real estate and planning side of things. Um, kind of where we're looking at today or where we're at today is, I'll turn it around this way so we're pointing north. Um, we're basically right about here on this plan. Um, pretty exciting for the city of Star. Some new um, housing product will be coming in on this side. It's a live work um, townhome. Um, these live work units are great for home base occupations, remote workers, um, really fit into kind of the way that the economy is going so that you can buy it as a residence, uh, but you can also have it as a home base for your occupation, whether it's anything from small medical, physical therapy, um, exercising to uh, beauty bar to accountants to architects to engineers to attorneys. Um, there's a lot of flex space in those in those um, uh, plans um, in order to accommodate those uses. Um, in the front here we have our commercial layout. Um, we have a drive-through location um, right off of the entryway, uh, entryway excuse me, off of Ripple Rock. Um, we have a 24,000 square foot building that will be coming in here um, that we're very excited about. We have um, a lot of good interest that's coming in, um, especially the last 30 days. Uh, everybody from uh, restaurants to um, uh, spas to uh, wine bars um, to rest uh, restaurants obviously an office space um, and we have two other commercial buildings on each side as well as a large building that'll be planned here along Ripple Rock um, around the circumference of the property or on the edge backing on the Pinewood Lakes and on the south side here um, are single-family detached homes um, built with a ranch style um, Dennis spent a lot of time on looking at these plans uh, maybe too much time sometimes. Um, hire somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> um, but one of the things I really like about what we've done here is when you're looking at the streetscape, it's going to be a lot different than other subdivisions where you go through and it's um, cookie cutter all the way across. Um, we have about, I think it's within the first seven plant or seven homes, there's five different home plans, nice. um, which is pretty unheard of on this day and age. Um, so you'll see that we'll get cranking on those right now um, and then hopefully we'll start uh, looking at some of this commercial and office space, fingers crossed here, um, in the next 30 to 60 days. So we're excited about that. Um, so if you or anybody you know or that you run into in the city of Star um, is looking for, whether it's residential or commercial uses, um, we have a plan here that'll work uh, for those people and we're just excited to bring it to the city. Um, yeah, so any other comments from the uh, Mayor Chadwick or from Benny today? He didn't say I was going to have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm excited about the whole project. It's taking a little bit more time with COVID and all that, but we jumped through a few hoops and we're finally ready to get started. All in all, Time being pushed back and probably helped us because the price of hell has gone up. So. <laughs> <laughs> the price of land has gone up. So, but uh, yeah, we're ready to uh, get this going. And like Chris said, we're excited about the commercial also to, you know, get some new uh, retail and new uh, stores and yeah. you know, restaurants and that thing, which uh, Star really needs. Yeah, and I think the biggest thing, I mean, and taking some of Denny's direction, but also kind of the goals of of our commercial and. Is, is creating more of a destination commercial space where people can come and, and spend some time r rather than just your typical commercial strip. Um, so what we picture is having a, a nice restaurant, um, wine bar, specialty foods, um, different places where you can go and visit, but then maybe walk across the, the hallway or walk across the building to a, the beauty bar and get a massage or um, walk down and, and look at the specialty foods in a butcher shop um, in a cooking uh, cooking store, doing a cooking class. So we're really trying to bring something that the city of Star doesn't have in terms of that destination commercial for this area. Um, everybody that's around here has been asking for it. 
And so we just hope that we keep on getting that community support uh, from when it gets built. So, no, uh, as a city, we appreciate the commercial for certain. You know, everybody's uh, aware that uh, we're upside down in our commercial and residential side. So anytime you get a development like this, that gives us that opportunity is exciting. And we're really excited about this uh, work with thing. I know it hasn't been popular with folks when we were doing this. We kind of pushed this along a little bit, saying we wanted to see some of that. And how funny how did it fall into the COVID era right. that you're doing that, that people are working from home, right? Uh, so it would be interesting to see how that all plays out and how that works out, because that could be a model for us to utilize uh, in other parts of this core of, of our city. Uh, you have to be the guinea pig right now. Right? Yes. <laughs> so make them good, right? Yeah. And that's that's yeah. the important part. So I'm excited. I mean, it's it's uh, it's a long time coming with this whole area over here uh, being developed. So it, there's going to be uh, a lot of a lot of if you make it a destination place, it'll be a great place for folks to come down and, and entertain themselves. And, yeah. And, you know, and do things like that and stay local. Yeah. You know, you know so, that's a big thing. Is you know keeping the, the local flavor to it, but also yeah. making it easy for citizens to get to. Yep. So we'll have that connection in here to Pinewood Lakes, so all the people that are living in Celestial Village or Pinewood Lakes will be able to walk, ride their bikes, uh, to come visit that those commercial outlets, basically. Yeah. 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 We'll have a stoplight right down here. Yeah. So people here on the, on the north side will be able to get over here pretty easy if they want to walk or ride as well. So. You know, we're, we got a lot of a big vision in our city uh, is to interconnect it with pathways and stuff like that. So having destinations like this gives them a place to go, right? On those so, yeah. Well, thank you guys. Um, well, I would like to invite everybody. We're going to just step over, let uh, Denny throw some dirt around and take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> More support. All right. We gotta make everybody smile. Thank you, everybody. Oh, awesome. Okay, bud, say that's a wrap. Oh, that's a wrap. Okay.